Hello, I'm Casey Wardinsky, Superintendent of Huntsville City Schools. I'd like to update you on the status of our case, Hereford versus Huntsville City Board of Education. When this case was filed in 1963, the Huntsville School Board clearly operated a dual or segregated school system. At that time, the board operated one set of schools for white children and another set of schools for black children. This dual system violated the Equal Protection Clause of the U.S. Constitution. To remedy this segregation, a federal court entered an order stating the fact of this segregation and ordered the board to take steps to desegregate its schools. Over the last 50 years, while our school system has implemented many important changes, it did not make the systematic and comprehensive changes necessary to achieve unitary status. When I became superintendent, the board and I made it a top priority to achieve unitary status and end federal supervision and return control of the school system to the local community. Since last summer, we have been negotiating a comprehensive plan with the U.S. Department of Justice to ultimately achieve the goal of unitary status. When we entered into mediation last summer, I stated this opportunity would improve school systems, our school system, for all of our children. My administration, its council, and the Department of Justice have created an agreement for consideration by the public and the court. This agreement, known as a consent order, addresses the factors identified by the Supreme Court to become a unitary system. These factors include student assignment, faculty assignment, extracurricular activities, transportation, facilities, and an additional factor of student discipline. This agreement is supported by the U.S. Department of Justice and my administration and board legal counsel. We are making the order available to the public for review and comment via the internet, at our schools, and at public meetings. The court has ordered that the board and I and the U.S. Department of Justice not comment at this time. We are in a listening mode. The proposed order has not yet been presented to the board for a vote. This consent order gives the school system a roadmap to complete unitary status. It treats our African American students fairly and equally. This was the basic point of the 1963 order, fairness to black students. Additionally, this proposed consent order makes fundamental changes that will benefit all of our students. Once we complete this order, the system will ask the court within a reasonable period of time to declare it unitary. Education is a noble profession dedicated to the service of our children and the future of our country. This momentous step will provide all of our students expanded opportunities to prepare for their futures and the continued success of Huntsville. I hope you will support this fundamental step that will make Huntsville City Schools all that they should be. Thank you.